Hi, this is Eric Dahl from OmniFit, and I actually want to talk about a topic that is very important for a lot of people as you get older, which is staying strong. I actually made a video about how to get stronger as you get older recently, but I actually want to make a new video about things you may be doing or not doing that may be preventing it from happening. So let's get into it. So number one, take a look at this video. What you'll see in this video is someone squatting a weight. This is something this person is doing with a lot of weight. Is this something you could do? If you can't, is that, is that a problem? Well, not necessarily. Doesn't mean you can't squat, but it might mean you may need to modify the movement. You, th you see, when people ask to get older, not that they can't do certain activities, is that they may be able or have to modify them. So adjust them to fit either your current health or your current injuries or your current health status, but can still get you to work out. That's the number one key. Can you modify exercises to still fit where you are physically? Step number one, modification. This squat is an example, but it could be many other examples of different exercises you can modify it. that doesn't mean you should stop exercising but you just have to adjust it to fit where you are number two number two is are you eating or you do you have enough protein in your diet so a lot of times people want to um, get stronger but if you're you might be working out but if you're not eating the things you need to do to get stronger no matter how much you work out it's not going to make a difference so for example protein is the building block for muscle protein do you have enough protein in your diet so folks i'm going to give you a quick equation a very quick equation and you may need to take out a calculator for this but it's going to be really quick so um say you're 100 pounds i'm sure i know most of you most of the people watching this are over 100 pounds to calculate how much protein you need in your diet, just a very simple calculation. Whatever your weight is, let's say you're 100 pounds, you divide that number by 2.2, which gets you how many kilograms you need. And then take that same number and um, multiply it by 0 0.8. What number do you get? Ideally, or hopefully, you got around 47. I think it's 47. Yeah, it's 47. So if you get that number, that's how many grams you should be eating every day in protein. So if you if you get enough protein in your diet, it'll actually help you build muscle. So I don't know if you ever heard of the term sarcopenia. This is basically age-related muscle loss. We all lose muscle as we get older. So yes we need to modify our exercise but two we need to make sure we have the proper nutrients in our diet to support that muscle building activity so try to do that calculation for your body weight and see if you're getting enough protein and on a quick side note quick side note before i move on from this point um you have your body can only process so many so much protein at each sitting so you can't just cram a whole bunch of protein down your uh, body, down your throat and expect it's gonna make a difference. Typically, it's around 30 grams per meal. So that just says that you should be eating some degree of protein at each meal. You should have protein in your diet and each meal throughout your day to really make a difference. Part three, part three, final point is, do you warm up before you exercise? One of the biggest factors I know with a lot of seniors or older adults as they want to be more active is they don't warm up. Typically, and I'm speaking for myself, when you're 20 or maybe in your 30s, you can get away with just, or teenagers, you can get away with just jumping into exercises and not really fear the repercussions of getting injured. As you get older, in your 30s, in your 40s, and your 50s plus, this isn't the case. If you don't warm up, you're more likely to be injured. Particularly, the main reasons why is most of us, as we get older, have a shorter range of motion in our joints. 
which basically means that certain activities and certain movements are going to lead us more likely to getting hurt. So that's why you need to warm up. You need your body, your muscles to be warm, and you need your bodies to be loose and long, which is actually allows us to be able to move when we try to exercise. So those are the two things you need to do. I'll give you a little example. If you watch this clip right here, you'll see me doing things like leg swings and arm swings and things like this. These are just good examples of things you need to incorporate before, not during, not after, before you work out, just to get your body really warmed up and ready to go. So if you would love to hear more info from me, from Eric, about things you need to do to work out, get ready, get stronger as a senior, please leave the comments below. Send me a message, leave comments below. If, if you'd love to see different topics covered or maybe not a topic I've covered today or one I've covered previously, please leave it in the comments. Love to uh, hear from you. Please like, please subscribe. We'd love to hear from you. Thank you so much. This is Eric Duff from OmniFit. Take care.